Hey guys, it's Vaughn and I'm excited because today I'm having all of you over for a visit. We're going to be seeing for the first time my made over family room. I am like so excited to finally be able to share this big reveal with you guys. Let's go ahead and start with the before so that I can catch you guys up on how far we've come. One of the biggest transformations in this room was this fireplace. We needed to bring this thing up to date because it was very outdated looking and also wasn't really even up to code because it didn't have a door on the front of it. The existing ceiling fan wasn't the worst I've seen but it didn't even have a light on it. We didn't have window treatments and just overall the room was not really utilizing a lot of the beautiful natural light that had the potential of coming through it started to just feel like such an impossible task that we just simply started to neglect this room ignored it for a little bit and just started focusing on some other projects in the house I started to realize that this room needed to be tackled in sections, so we got right to work on this fireplace, which was the focal point of the room. To save tons of money, I purchased a DIY brick restoration system called Brick Anew. We then decided to paint the place a color that will complement the bricks, so we chose Repose Gray by Sharon Williams. We ordered a custom door for the front of the fireplace, and my dad replaced the ceiling fan. Something that was more modern looking and included a light kit. So here is the big before and after, you guys. I think the biggest transformation in this room really began with repositioning that TV and maximizing seating. Before being inspired, I never would have thought to do two couches, but we ended up going with the symmetrical layout and we love it. You know, I have zero interior design experience and not much of a passion for it either, to be honest. I just knew that this room needed to feel a certain way. So I just tried to connect with the details of the pieces to determine how to decorate. Starting with this DKNY throw that I got from Home Goods is one of the first things that I bought. I think it's so smart to have a decorative throw instead of just a random blanket because you can be all cozy on your couch without throwing off your color scheme. This thing creates a casual calm vibe while functioning as a practical blanket. The couches, chairs, tables, and rug are all from Value City Furniture. And I decided to go with these really cool kind of calming colors because that's kind of the vibe that I wanted for this room. Never really been a huge fan of color. You guys know that. I don't wear a lot of color with my makeup or my clothing, so my home environment is no different. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I'm a much bigger fan of texture and natural finishes. So these windows, let's talk about it. I wanted a window treatment solution that would leave the arches uncovered so that light still comes in. So we went with these blackout curtains from Home Depot. To save money, we decided to keep the original carpeting in this room. That was a tough choice for me. Um, just added a rug to define the seating space a bit with some candles and fresh hydrangeas to make it feel like home. This table has a natural marble top with lots of pattern variation and metal elements. I actually fell in love with the table first, then coordinated everything else to make sense with it. I got these candle pedestals from Home Goods and these remote controlled fake candles from Pier One because there's no way Anne would have allowed these jumbo candles to be great. I wanted this fireplace to look super cozy in the winter months, so I got this little fireside set from Amazon for super cheap and I get to have my little cabin feels. But seriously, with this new fireplace door, my daughter can't screw with the rocks anymore and I feel a lot safer having her watch TV and play in here now. So it turned out cute, but believe me, this upgrade was all about safety. And I can't forget about my husband, honey, who just wanted a chill spot and he definitely got that. Oh, and I wanted to fill you guys in on the changes we made to the wine bar, starting with these little wine glass racks that my dad installed for us. Next, I ordered these remote controlled lights from Amazon. They came complete with rechargeable batteries and a 3M strip for easy semi-permanent installation. These are an awesome non-destructive way to create light in dark areas of your home or to provide decorative lighting for artwork, glass and casings, and more. So far, I've loved the way our little wine bar has turned out. We're actually storing and serving wine off this thing and using our little wine fridge. Who do we think we are? And these wine glass racks are perfect for extra long stemware or just showing off unique glasses. Loving all the remote control action. Oh, and you guys, this little whiskey decanter set I ordered from Amazon for my husband. And this little tray doubles as an elegant server. So cute. So I originally filmed this video to show you guys the furniture and layout we chose for this room. So it hadn't really been lived in yet. So here here it is after a couple weeks looking way more realistic. I added a few more decorative elements like some magazines, coasters, an ottoman poof, and my first ever house plant. Oh lord, I hope it doesn't die. I also swapped out the fresh flowers for these artificial ones because it's more kid friendly with a table this height. I feel like the gray color scheme doesn't have to be so sterile if you add plants and artwork which we plan on doing. It's just really good for versatility in the long run if you ever wanted to make seasonal changes to the room without spending a lot of money. Like I could easily change the pillows rug 
and curtains, for example, for cheap and have a whole new room with the same furniture. And we're not done with this space at all. I want to do like a whole gallery wall with family photos and also add some shelving, but these things take time. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you can see how it all comes together. Be sure to check the description box for links and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.